When was the ADL formed and why was it formed? Yeah, so ADL was founded in 1913. Uh, there are some historical discussions whether it was a, a product of the Leo Frank case. Leo Frank was a New York Jew who went down south to Atlanta, married a southern Jewish girl, worked in his father-in-law's factory, and was accused of murdering a Christian a Christian girl, uh, was imprisoned. Uh, later, there was some effort to parole him or something like that, and, he, and a group came into the prison and lynched him. It was It's the most famous or infamous lynching of a Jew in American history. Of course, African Americans, unfortunately, suffered from many of those things. But this is the most famous. So it, 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 the fact that the trial took place in 1913 led a lot of people to associate the founding of ADL. But I think the founder of ADL, who was a Jewish immigrant from Germany, uh, who was a lawyer, uh, he came to America, and uh, as I said about Jews in general, he was on one hand pleased to be in America rather than Germany, but he was quite shocked by the level of anti-Semitic stereotypes that he saw in vaudeville and all kinds of newspapers, all kinds of public images of tropes of Jews that he associated more with Europe, but he was founding here, and he said, you know, I think the Jewish community needs a defense organization with the main purpose of fighting anti-Semitism. So he created ADL in 1913 and went to B'nai B'rith, which was in those days a very large social service organization, part of the process of integration and assimilation of Jews to America, and said, would you like to take up the mantle of this idea of the Anti-Defamation anti League of B'nai B'rith, and it was founded in 1913, and that was the beginning of our history. So we are now 110 years old.